This morning we are catching up with an actor whose resume includes a little bit of everything. That's right. Jenny Slate has taken on roles ranging from our own Hoda Kotke <laughs> on Saturday Night Live <laughs> to scene stealer Mona Lisa in Parks and Rec and a number of animated characters like a favorite in our house, Tammy Larson in Bob's Burgers. Mm -hmm. Well, now Jenny is taking her tiniest role to the big screen in Marcel the Shell with shoes on. We'll let the little guy introduce himself. Hello, my name is Marcel. It's not the first time I've done that. My name is Marcel, and I'm partially a shell, as you can see on my body, but I also have shoes and um, a face. So I like that about myself, and I like myself, and I have a lot of other great qualities as well. I mean, like, how are you just sitting down one day and you go, oh, I have this idea. You know what I mean? Because it was, what, mystery. 2010? Yeah. It was this three-minute video. Yes. And the rest is history? I guess so. I, I mean, I, I really, I was doing this little voice over a weekend when um, I was sharing a hotel room with, like, five friends. We were all trying to save mm -hmm. money, and I felt really squished, and I started doing the voice, and we just thought it was funny. And so Dean Fleischer Camp, who directed the feature film and, and wrote it with me, um, made a little short film film and played it for 10 people and someone wanted to see it again so he put it on the internet and then now we're here that's amazing <laughs> yeah. so did, did the voice come first and then they created the shell or did you see the shell and then create the voice yes yeah, so the voice came first and we knew that it was small and uh dean started asking me more questions about myself and i guess and the character kind of started to <laughs> just sort of emerge and and he had a bunch of found objects, like a shell and a googly eye, and um, went to the toy store and bought a Polly Pocket ripoff, like Polly Pocket, and <laughs> literally stuck it together and, and made Marcel, made his... <laughs> I think he looks really good. So He's cute. Could, could you give us a little Marcel? Sure. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, Al, what do you want me to say? Um, do you, what kind of a day is it for Marcel? Oh, for, for me, it's a gorgeous day because I, I think that morning television is a really fun way to be chatty and start your day, but also I can say hi to my family. Hi, everyone. <laughs> They're so proud. It's okay. just uh, so is, now, cute. is your family other little mollusks? <laughs> They're, they're a, a, a collection of creatures. Um, like, for example, one of my cousins actually is a Cheeto. Oh. Yeah, so I mean, we're all different. We're all yeah. different. Yeah. Not a Cheeto. <laughs> yeah. I, what's so cool about this, you know, stop motion. I, I just, I love that type of animation. It's a long process, though. It is. Um, and even just the whole idea itself, how long did it take you to get from the voice and coming up with the character to actually putting her out there, or him out there. Yeah, well, once we found our partners in making the film, the, the wonderful producers that we had, um, it took about three years to get the audio play set, like everything you hear Marcel say. That was all improvised off of a treatment that then was turned into a script that was written and then was improvised off of, like, many layers of that. Then we made an animatic, then we did stop motion. I mean, uh, then we did the live plays and then stop motion. So it's, this is years, seven years of work wow. that you're seeing. So beyond Marcel, did you grow up making voices or doing voices? I mean, has this been in you for a while? Not just Marcel, but just this talent. I think um, it's nice that you think it think of it as like a talent and not like a syndrome. <laughs> but I, um, <laughs> yeah, I always, you know, really liked voices and I liked characters with unique voices. Like, you know, I always loved Pee Wee, for example, oh. and um, was so fascinated by the voices on, on Sesame Street, Grover and Big Bird, and and I always found a, a kinship with them. I think mm -hmm. it just That's was there for me. Yeah. That's awesome. And your mom to one and a half year old Ida, who just yes. turned one and a half yesterday. Yes. Uh, do you do the voices? Oh, I was just about to say. Your, husband, your hubby there. Uh, that's my uh, husband. <laughs> do, do you do do you read stories to her and stuff and do voices or? I do, and she really likes the um, the Marcel voice, uh -huh. which is sure. so gratifying. I just, like, <laughs> want her to like everything about right. me, you know, which I'm sure is a dangerous game. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I read to her, I sing to her in it, and um, so far she's a fan. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it has 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, so everybody's I mean, really a fan of this. That has to feel wild. It is very, very exciting. I think it's a good moment to remember also that, like, generally I like my life as it is day to day, although I appreciate the, mm -hmm. <laughs> the support. It's like, 
Yeah, what do you do with that? It, That's it's amazing. It's just excellent. That's awesome. Yeah. It's and wonderful. your husband actually has a pretty cool job, too. Yeah. Up in Massachusetts, a gen he r runs a general store? Yes, well, he's a writer, and um, he also owns Duvall's General Store. There Look it is, that. down Ooh. the street from our house. It's so yeah, cool. It's beautiful. It's um, the oldest general store in the United States. Wow. And it has a bookstore in it, and you can even buy his book in there. That's <laughs> right awesome. Now. What's the name of his book? His book is called Six Walks, and it's out right now. It's got a great review in The New Yorker. It's beautiful. It's uh, yeah. So Rally Tomatoes and the New Yorker. You guys are just like not bad. Checking it all off. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, thank you so <laughs> thank much. You. Thank so you. So fun to have you yeah. here. Thanks for Marcel having me. Marcel the Shell with Shoes on is in select theaters this Friday and nationwide, July fifteenth. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.